So the next is action democratic. All progressive Congress. Well, we are expecting um, what we have always expected. Namely, we are here just to encourage the actors. At least the fact that we are physically here should suggest to them that uh, Nigeria is serious. Nigeria is watching. And uh, we are giving them all the moral support that we can for them to, to accompany them on this journey. I think we speak not to Ekiti, but we speak to Nigerians as a whole. Uh, processes of this nature don't necessarily by themselves define what political outcomes will be. And I think this is something Nigerians have not taken seriously. We have allowed our political class to get away with murder. That is that we sweat, we are in the sun, we are in the rain, okay? People die to make this happen. And then the biggest mistake Nigerians make is to just hope for the best. So essentially, I think one of the major things that Nigerians must now be encouraged to do is to use the enthusiasm that is leading them to the polling booth to continue to sus a sustained engagement, a sustained, even if you like, confrontation with the people that we have elected to ensure, to insist, to persist that they keep to their promises. And if and when they don't keep to those promises, there are consequences which the law has already provided and it includes embarrassing politicians. In Europe, they used to stone politicians with eggs. So it's not, we have to find a way around because this malfeasance cannot continue. So for me, it's not about what happens here today. It's about what, not even what happens after the elections, which could be, which we prayerfully hope they will be free and fair and credible, but how we engage these politicians right across the board. I can't, look, I mean, I, I think that I would not like to put too much to the Peace Committee. We appreciate the commendation by Nigerians. But I think what is most important, people like you, the media, ordinary people, civil society groups, um, volunteers, community associations, traditional rulers, all kinds of people who are engaged in encouraging our people. So it's not a one man's or uh, one woman's job. It's a job of all of us. And that's why I'm saying to the extent that we've all suffered to bring this to where it is. We cannot simply morally fold our hands and pray and hope that our leaders will lead us well. No. You see, the reason why some of us continue to talk, and guess what? I will be here. By the grace of God, I don't care who becomes president of Nigeria, but if you don't govern well, we all have a responsibility to engage these people. Because, as I said, the reason why Nigeria is in the mess that it is in is because people have decided that somehow we will just sit back and it is impolite to confront this. We didn't ask them to write manifestos. We didn't ask them to make promises. But very often we hear the promises. We don't keep record of the promises. So we must learn to find our way to government house by protest. We can commend them when they do well, but also tell them when we are not happy with the things that they are doing. So for me, as I said, we have to learn how to praise, but also how to shame those in power. They vote, look, they vote in, I cannot advise everybody who has cast a vote. Anybody who decided to vote knows why he or she decided to vote. And this is why this whole dangerous thing that maybe my person is in power from my tribe, from my religion, therefore I cannot say it's a mortal sin. So for me, the 2023 elections will come by the grace of God. They will come and go. But by themselves, whether they are free and fair and credible, is no guarantee. After all, when we had these elections in 2014 and 2019, we did not expect that we'll be in the kind of mess that we're in now. We didn't expect that we'll be dying the way we're dying now. Now, people are dying in their hundreds. We are not in a war because we're literally, the number of people dying in Nigeria are more than those who are dying in Ukraine, who, you know, which is involved in a war with the most lethal weapons. So I'm just saying it's frustrating because we cannot be encouraging people to go out there and cast their votes and those on whose behalf these votes are cast don't treat us with the respect that we deserve.